and I'm just gonna point it out like, who are you, Jeff? Look, I'm gonna get you early footage. Don't worry about it. Rob, you gotta get touched up at least a little bit, just once. There you go. There you go, huh? One, two, one, two. Yeah, the mics is on. Uh, Jeff, say something. Say what's, something. What's good, Al? How are you doing? Okay, you on. You on, baby. This barbecue is off. Yeah, you on, baby. Off the hook, bro. Tell me this. Set a bit to your mouth, bro. It's just lovely, baby. Snack yeah. Sessions Part 6, man. Yeah, come rock with us, man. Y'all already know what the fuck it is, man. Yeah, yeah, Sess, what up, Sess? We just getting started. I'ma just focus on the food. You know, look at the beautiful food. Got my peoples up in the building. That's OG Jeff right there. One of the most solid motherfuckers in Vegas. And my little man, the R. Y'all know how the R be doing. R, give it up, man. Yo, solid people. I tried. Solid people, bro. that's all I gotta say. Bro. There you go, brother. There you go. Yeah, so we're gonna focus on the food. Then we're gonna jump into topic. Brian Breezy in the building. Work with us, guys. We wanna get the food because it's called snack sessions. I wanna focus on the food. How the food tasting, man? Man. Magnificent, right? This is awesome. Oh, is it great again? Smack. Yes. Smack. Oh, no, this is. Fuck P. Diddy. Diddy. Oh, fuck. fuck P. Diddy. Yeah, I thought we starting the show. Mm. Well, no, no, I'm good. Let's touch that up. All What's right. the other shit you passing up though? You All of this shit. Oh, you, you don't fuck with the kids, G? None of that shit. Right, give me that, that brown, that tan thing or something. Give me that chance. Let me go. Huh? Yeah. I, I mean, I'll do that, but like that tan. Bro, that that's your couple of those. Good? That looks like fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. What is this, bro? I don't know. He don't like pains in this motherfucker. Bro. Mm. With yeah, we're gonna get into the topic, y'all. Just work with us. Absorb the smoke. We got a lot of smoke, mm. a lot of food. We got whole head Santiago, New York Met fan in it. the building, God, baby. Dang, bro. Mm. Let me go back and rock the stick. Let me get that stick in there. Mm. Snack sessions part six. We will get started shortly, man. You know my man got questions for me, and you know I'm ready to answer them. That's that tomahawk shit right here. Yeah. This that shit you gotta be careful with Al York, cause if you're not careful, Al York will bang that whole shit out. But oh, yeah. OG Jeff already let me know it ain't happening. Al, I want my half. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I hope everybody's doing good in New York, Las Vegas, Mexico, France, Tokyo, wherever. The Fuck you at, man. Why? You know we gonna give it up. That's what we do, baby. Reno, all that shit. Put your comments in, man. That's our look out in the building. I know she gonna get on my eating habits because I told her I was eating better and I'm here fumbling the rock, but I'm staying away from the rice. You see this rice right here? I'm trying to leave that alone because my man OG Jeff said, Al, you gotta leave the rice alone, bro. I'm working on that. So like I said, when you ready to shoot, it's on you, because you know I'm born ready. I need a plate, man. I didn't expect us to eat like this little ass plate, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I feel you, bro. Get me a plate in this motherfucker, man. Yo, now I'm going to slam one of the y'all. Hold on. Y'all wait for the second set. In the second set, I'm going to slam dunk. You heard Yeah, wow. man. So again, Jeff, people's in the building. We got people tapped in. Uh, you ready to start talking to them? So what I'm going to do is when you're talking, I'm going to have it on you, then I'm going to flip it back my way so they get an image of, you know, kind of both things going on. But we cannot get it all in one shot. Okay. Snack Sessions Part 6, y'all. We can start talking about loops. Whatever you want, just put some bass on there. So I have okay. that. So I got a question for you, bro. Who do you think has the best hands in the entire NBA, bro? The best hands? The best handles. Handles? Handles. Right now, 
for all time. I'd have to say all time, bro. All time? All time. Well, I'm going to focus in on this one. My best person with the rock. I hate to say a tie, so I got to divide the tie into one. I'm going to go with Kyrie Irving, man. No disrespect to AI, no disrespect to White Chocolate, Tim Hardaway, you know what I'm saying? I got to go Kyrie Irving, number one. You want like one through three, or you just happy with the one? One through three sounds good, bro. Okay. I got to get White Chocolate in there. I know he could he handle, he, he got the, one of the best looks beside Magic Johnson, if you ask me. Jason Lowe's off the hook, bro. He's right on now. You know what I'm saying? So I got to get Jay Will in there, white chocolate. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then it, the number three is hard, because you could go Isaiah Thomas Zeke from the Detroit Pistons. No, not that Isaiah. Not the young one. I'm talking about the Detroit Pistons one. The OG. The OG. Allen Iverson got a dope he handle. No, that's why we got him at three, though. Yeah. I ain't got him at one all. I mean, you got to know that one means the highest, right? Okay, so Zay's in the bottom. I got AI. The only thing with AI, like I told like I told Jeff, he carried a lot. He got away with a lot of carries. Right. You don't do that crossover and the boys up here. Look, that's a carry, my guy. Yeah. He got away with that shit for many years. All day. Right or wrong? You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to step over all three of those guys. Oh, no, no, not Kyrie. Yeah. Steph. Steph got a dope handle. The thing with Steph, the reason why his handles is, is, is underrated, because he shoots the best basketball ever. That's the only reason why. He got a better handle than Zeke. He got a, I don't know about that. I watch Zeke. I watch Zeke. Nah, Zeke is the beast with the ball, dog. in the 80s. But we talking about now. We talking yeah, yeah. I don't know about better. Maybe I could say facility. Yes, like Tim Hardaway had the dope crossover. You right. couldn't steal the ball from I, Tim Hardaway. I, I, I think Tim Hardaway yeah, yeah, I mean, you just didn't steal the ball from but him. Ziggy, I watch him. I'm like, this up this special event. You know what it is? When Kyrie was doing it, he made it a fashion. Zeke wasn't a fashion. It was more like you ain't stealing the ball from him. But I, I see, I see, I'm not saying you're wrong. Listen, we all entitled to our own opinion, but number one, I definitely got Kyrie Irving. Put your answers in, y'all. He said Jason Kidd. What you think about Kidd? Uh, I think, I like them as turbo, being fast, you know, I don't know about having a sick handle, Breezy. Uh, I gotta disagree with that, bro. You know, don't maybe he could dribble. Yeah. He could dribble, but I don't right. think he had a sick handle like the guys we mentioned. Right. He'd have to go like five or six. Bro. There you go. I agree with that. You can put Nash all the way at about 6-7. Right. Shout out to Garshan Garshan. Oh, Garshan Garshan. You got to give Garshan Garshan. Jen Kidd, on the same coast as Alameda, 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 Alameda. But the guys we're talking about did work in the NBA. Right. Like, if you want to go handle, you could go to N1. You go to uh, Sauce, no Sauce, and all, all them niggas. The professor, the professor got an L handle. Oh, but they didn't make it in the NBA, though, so we got to be talking NBA. Right. We're talking NBA. Okay, um, you want to close it up or you want to jump into something new now? We can jump into something new. Go get the bro. Okay. <laughs> um, we got soy sauce in the building, big dog. Okay. okay. <laughs> this is our server right here, man. Jerico, yeah. man. He keep it coming, man. He's off the hook. Yeah, this dude yeah. keep it coming. Go check yeah. him out. 1263 Silverado Ranch. Koji. He in here, B. He in here. I know you're surprised I remember that, right? Yeah. <laughs> Even I don't remember sometimes, but you got, you got it down, right? All right, here we go. Let's go against the grain now, bro. Against the grain? Yeah. Now, Put your answers in, y'all. Stop playing around, man. Right. Now, give me an update on Juan Soto. Juan Soto? Right. Like, basically, where he's going to wind up at? Yes, sir. I had a disagreement with my boy, Noah Parker. He said the New York Mets, and I kind of screamed on him. But you know what? If Soto wants money, if it's all about money, meaning he gets the highest money and he's going to run with that instead of weighing it out like, you know what, I can make a little less here, but we could be in a chip, or he wants the most money on some Robinson Cano shit, then the Mets could get him. Because the Mets, from my understanding, 
got the most money to give them. I heard they could give them six fifty. I mean, it was seven hundred. Yankees, I think, offer five seventy five. I thought that was a great offer, considering that we're gonna be like in a run for the chip every year. But if he's going to listen to Scott Boris and get the most money, it might be San Francisco or the Mets. They both got the most money. But to me, what makes the most sense is Little Ass Yankee Stadium. Soto taking maybe a little less, but to become a motherfucking Hall of Famer, one of the best Yankees ever, if he's willing to stay with the New York Yankees. If he go to Frisco, it's going to be tough for that big ass park. Bonds made it look easy because, you know, Bonds steroid up on right. top of, you know, nice for the... They built that park. Yeah, but, Bonds, yeah, but that, that's a big park. Right. It's huge. You know, the depth, that's why I'm glad Judge didn't go there. Judge numbers would have been way down compared to Yankee where he is a fly ball to right field. It's a home run. You hit that in Frisco's a can of corn. Mm, gotcha. You see what I'm saying? Gotcha. But I definitely think the Mets got the upper hand if he's looking for dollar amount. So that the mess owner already said he wants him, and he got the money to make it happen. Unlike the Yankee brass that is Steinbrenner's kids, they're not like George Steinbrenner. Steinbrenner would have signed them already, been signed them. As soon as he got on the Yankees, he was doing 600. But the kids are just trying to make sure they can succeed with the business aspect of it. Steinbrenner had money, he didn't give a fuck about that. So I think we're going to lose him. And I don't mind losing him if he wants to say six, seven, Jay, because we could get three to four high quality players for him. Now, don't get me wrong, I want Soto, but he ain't gonna cripple our fucking system. Where you pay him and then we can't get nobody else. Because to be accurate with you, we're losing players right now, so if we sign them, we're not gonna be as good as last year already. Because we're losing about three, four players. You see what I'm saying? You, you can't gain by losing. I love him, but I don't love him to the point where I want him to cripple our franchise because of that lucrative contract. Feel me? Yeah, you Al York Sports, y'all talk to me, baby. D Nice in the building, baby. Maybe I can step it up while y'all talk. Okay. Let me, let me, um... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we here, y'all. We here, baby. Snack sessions. You heard D Nice. I know you like to eat, D-Nice, and I'm going to show you all this tomahawk shit. We eat it, baby. We in the building, baby. You know how we do it, man. Shepard, what's up, you dig? You're banging, my niggas. So, inquiry, inquiry mind you want to know. Yeah, I want to ask you, you know, you know your sports. What you think? I want to ask both of y'all what you think is going to happen with one solo. My opinion matter. You heard? I didn't want Soto gets the bad though. New York, the Yankees been making a mistake not keeping Soto, dog. You heard? Juan Soto? Yeah, but if it, if, you know the, if anyone's worth that money, it's Soto, dog. You I know? agree with you, but he want more now. Before he was saying hey. five hundred, now he asked for six fifty. Hey, no, he's hungry, hey. bro. He hey. said, "Yo, yo, that's what? too much. I love him, but that's too much." Hey. Bro. That's value, bro. Well, what Fat Joe say? Yesterday's price ain't today's price. Yeah, but that's not. He talking about five, seven years ago, man. He talking about like eight months, like three months ago, type shit. He could have got a better deal had they signed him earlier. So what's your take? Where do you think you're going to end up at? The Mets. Him and Frankie. You're going to bring a world championship. I thought the Mets suck to you. Hey, but you bring one solo. Gonna... You bring one solo. Yeah, but he's not going to make him win just one player. You think so? Right. One solo is that too, They bro. need pitching, though. They do need pitching. But I just want it without top, top tier pitching. Come on, fuck. You stepped up, though. Cool. The Dodgers pitcher stepped up though. They did. Uh, Remember, they had like three games without giving up a run against the Padres that stacked. The Padres is stacked, my niggas. Put your answers in, man. You already know, Six Burrow, nigga. Talking with food in my mouth. Wally, well in the building, man. Salute to Wally, man. That's my brother right there, man. Wally, let me show you some love, Wally. Let me show you love, Wally. I see you eating with the wife and kids and all that, but don't forget I'm eating too, baby. I'm eating too, baby. Let me go through a little shit. That's the way y'all see what's happening over here. Mm. 
We eating, my nigga, and we giving it up, man. Talk to us, man. So, you said Mets, who you say, dog? I'm going to put it right on you. Not just the Mets. Mets is in the World Series. No, no, but you yeah. think he's going to wind up with the Mets. Okay, so you would know. I got to side with them. You know, it would only make sense, bro. You're a Mets, baby. Okay. I have to, I have to put my pride down. I screamed at Noah, but Scott Boris looked like he's in, he's, he's in Soto's head, bro. And if it's all about the dollar, it's, it's the, the dollar. New York Mets. Not really, because Aaron Judge took less with the Yankees, so he he wanted to play with Frisco. He grew up in Frisco, but he took less for a better situation, a little less. So I'm hoping that Soto got that mindset. But it looks like Soto just wants to be one of the highest paid motherfuckers, man. He deserved it. You don't think he deserved it? While in the building. I'm not saying he don't deserve the bag, but now he he wants the double bag now. Hey, man. No, well, listen, Soto deserved half a mil, or half a billion. No but question. Somebody, but now you want a 700, my God? How? If someone, if someone was worth seven hundred million, though, who would it be, though? Who would you get? If there was one base. Yeah, but that's not, that, that's a vague question because I know what you're getting at, but I don't think nobody's worth seven hundred million. Yes, but I'm saying though, nobody. If you give it seven hundred to someone, see, that's different. That's different because now, I'm of course, so it's going to be him. He's the best player right now. And at the age, what is that, he's the best player. He's about no, twenty-six. 26? I want him. At 575, we'll still be able to get Jack Flaherty, maybe maybe Christian Walker, Polar Bear. But at 650, 700, you limited our options to recruit other All Stars and other good players. And we got a couple people we might want to resign, and we're not going to be able to resign them. That's real talk. By right, Jorge, 500. But he wants 700. Oh, yeah, let me got a, I got a question for you. Would you want him for 700 with your Mets? Answer that quick, but I got to get back to my people. Yeah, I like how you did that, Rob, chopping them shits up. Man. I'm Chef Rob now, dog. Oh, Rob. You eat them, nigga. Eat him. Hey, no, no, get this on the camera, too. Get this on the camera. All that. Yeah, no, no, get this on the camera. Go ahead, baby. That's how we do it. That's that special sauce. That's that yum yum shit. I call it that yum yum. That's that yum yum, nigga. Everything about this motherfucker, man. Excuse me for cursing, man. I'm open, man. My man said, hell no. Tripping. He don't want 700. So no. No, he's a diehard Mets fan. You a Mets fan? You don't want one This nigga's such a Mets fan. He thinks the Mets are better than the Yankees. What? Uh, on lifetime shit. Oh, you crazy, bro. This nigga is a diehard Met fan. Oh, here's a diehard Met fan. I give it up to that, bro. Listen, if I'm a Mets fan, I want whatever price. I want Mont Soto, bro. Okay. Any other free agent we want to tackle, guys, before we move on? I'm going to go to you, uh, Jeff, the OG. Anybody else got your interest? Like a polar bear? Uh, a Christian Walker, a, a Blake Snell. These are all free agents. Anybody got your interest? Or your interest uh, uh, where you want me to tell you where they might wind up at? Or you don't give a fuck about nobody but Soto? Basically. Okay. Christian Walker, what do you think about him? The Yankees might want to get him. Listen, I they like get that. Him for Thanks, Price. What'd you say? You say, you I said say polar Christian bear. Yeah, see, I like No, no, Walker. but if they get they talking polar bear. They're already talking with him. Right. The only thing with Christian Walker, he be hurt a lot. And he's gonna be, he's gonna command a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? Way more than polar. Well, I don't know if polar he has more than polar bear, I gotta go polar bear route. Cause he's I like Walker, but Walker chairs up the Dodger Any younger at Dodger Stadium. Stadium. Any younger? Probably a little, a little younger than him. Yeah, What's they gotta keep the shrimps coming and all that. They kind of forgot is us. Is that good no more? Yeah, yeah, that's good. No, no, no. You know what? Hold up. What? What can we give up over here, guys? Oh, that's you? Go ahead, go ahead. No, 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 no. Oh, Bali, my guy. I mean, 
You gotta get more. You gotta put that other meat on it. Let me move that. Yeah, I'm trying to find room for it though. Okay, okay. We gotta get rid of this boy. Yeah, yeah, but right here, boom, Bob, you got all that. Feel me? Yeah. Nah, bro. Chosen. Ooh, yo, this shit's so good, my man Jeff don't even got questions for a nigga, my guy. <laughs> <laughs> this shit yo, yo, this shit bro. made him forgot that he, he came here to talk to talk to y'all, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yo, where are your chances at, my nigga? Are we ready to hop on the next topic, bro? Yeah, yeah, let's go, baby. Okay. All right, so all of we all agree that the Mets got the advantage. I'm going to give props to Noah Parker. Who said that? I didn't think that Soto was looking that way, but you know that Frankie, him and Frankie, that might work oh, over there, and that six fifty seven hundred might be the, you know to get them over there. I know the Yankees ain't gonna give them that. All right, so what we doing? Yeah, yeah, George, it's just too many free agents. We only got like forty five minutes here. I cannot just go through all the free agents. Then we're doing like a free agent show. But, uh, yeah, Freeze out there, Blake Snell's out there, Japanese pitcher, I got you, my nigga. But um, Blake Snell, if I'm the Yankees, I won't go. I'd rather go after, believe it or not, I'd rather go after um, homeboy Flaherty. He's a lot cheaper, and I know that he, he's not as hurt as Blake. Blake's always hurt every year, and he starts so horrible every year and then comes back in the second half very good. Angelo in the building, few texts. Talk to me, baby. Got the all in here. All showing a lot of love today. I'm loving that. OG Jeff, talk to us, baby. See, he got the ball game shit representing hard, baby. Representing hard. Any of you test with guys? What you talking about? What you mean you test with? I can fall the spoon. Let's go there. When you get that thing, I don't want to go over the full length. Okay, y'all. Uh, die? Okay. Ah! Oh, you get it? Got you. Got you. Inquiring minds want to know what's the update on Diddy, bro? Wow. You don't flip the whole shit right now. Yo, fuck yep. up, daddy. Fuck up, daddy. Pump daddy is some shit. Pause. I'm gonna finish this right here. Pause. I'm gonna get to it. Last time I was talking, almost. As a matter of fact, I didn't almost choke. I did choke. Okay, my bad, my Let me bad. say it right. I did choke. Latest I'm hearing on Puff Daddy, there's still multiple shit coming on in. When it rains, it pours. But one thing that I found out, Jay, that I kind of knew but didn't know, when Puffy made it to superior to that superior level, what he was doing was what he's doing now to the rappers coming up. All them Clyde Davis and all those top of the line cats, all of them had them put in work sexually on them. So Puffy, I hate to talk about this topic. I'm not comfortable with this topic, bro. But Puffy did whatever he had to do to get all the way on top. Whether sex old men, lick them off, whatever he did, which is nasty, bro. And not only that, what's your integrity? So my understanding, now I got a better understanding of why he does what he does to these young coming rappers and R&B singers. I'm not saying I respect it. Don't get it twisted. I'm saying now I know where he get it from. He got it from because they, they put that on him to get up there. So he used that shit that they used on him on the people trying to come up under him. Because before, if you remember, he was jerking artists. Jerking, not jerking no more. Big difference. He jerked Mace, he jerked all these guys. Now, he came up with a new system of what he learned through those Fly Davis cats, where now, if you want to get rich, if you want to make it rich overnight, you got to give up your butt cheeks, God. You got to give them up. That's how Puffy did all those young cats. You know, I think, you know, Meek, you know the Meek story? French Montana, I'm throwing niggas out there. And I ain't going to lie, man, I'm having a lot of Rick Ross shit. Rick Ross kind of climbed to the top crazy quick, too. You know what I mean? But I don't got facts. This is all allegedly. Allegedly. It's all allegedly. But what I'm saying, and I'm not justifying for P. Diddy, what he's doing is terribly wrong. I don't care if he went through it. Because it's just like me growing up. I had a rough grow up. Why would I put my kids through the roughness that I had in my career? 
Why would I show them that tough love that I got? If anything, I need to show them real love. Appreciate you, Rob. Tomahawk. You know what I mean? Hey, you mean big problem. Yo. You know what I'm saying? You got to change it, man. You can't take that back anger and utilize it today. Because what, what, what are you showing? What, what, what are you showing to your kids that you want them to go through what you went through? So what I'm saying is, P. Diddy had a chance to go about it different professionally, but what he did instead, the way them white boys used them to get up top, he did the same with everybody underneath him. And that shit was foul. And there was even plenty underage people, multiple underage people, which is going to come out. It's going to come out. Right now, everything's allegedly. I'm not here, no scientist. I'm only going by what I'm hearing. But I'm hearing that if he think he got a chance of coming out, he's really fooling himself. What's your take on that situation from the little bit that y'all been hearing? I'm disgusted, bro. Talking wrong. He is disgusted, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Let me ask you this though, Al. I'm just being devil. I'm always devil's advocate, bro. But keep on talking about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm always playing devil's advocate. If, you, if back in the two, let's say it's 2002, if Diddy invited you to the party, are you going? To a party? Yes. Because I would think it's just a party from P. Diddy. But knowing the information I know, no. Like, for example, right now, let's say I know some dudes that are throwing a big party, and there's a lot of those funny style dudes. I don't want to say exactly what it is because they could take my video down for that. I'm going to say funny style cats. I'm not, I'm not going there. What am I going there for? But if let's say it's a regular, like Jay's throwing a get together and his family, food, shit like that, of course I'm going. Music. But if I hear anything about a back room and funny shit happening and all that with men, hell no. Hell no, you couldn't pay me to go. That's real talk. Right. So Gary, yeah, what you getting at? I'm waiting, I'm waiting to see where this is all going. No, I'm just because I think people forget it. Puppy was that dude back then. You know what I mean? Right. Like, yeah, everybody over there. I'm going. J Lo's there, I'm going. I would have went. Now you just mentioned a name that I heard. He well, just opened another can of worms. I don't know what that is. Tell me. What's your, what's I, I'm hearing allegedly. She sexed little Justin Bieber when he was 16. Put the put the brakes on him. Yeah. yeah. J-Lo put the brakes on Bieber, I heard, at 16. Now, a lot of y'all might see it. as a come up for Bieber. But if you want to get technical with the age shit and all that, if Puck won't go down for that, then she got to go down too. On that note, I mean, I'm just on that note. Not on everything Puck did, because J-Lo ain't do all that. But if she put the brakes on Bieber, got to pay for that because he was only 16 and Bieber was getting passed around like a football my guy bro they were passing Bieber around dog you look at that kid he don't look right he looked defeated he looked like something not right with him bro they gotta keep him in that cucumber man but yeah they got right here bro yeah let me get that yeah beef all drugged out the whole time bro you know about the video bro good man probably going down man Puffy fucked up when he tried to get bigger than the dude that put him on. You can't forget where you come from. Puff was big in the hood, but them white boys, Clive David, they made him big worldwide. Worldwide. Hey, the and all that. You know what I'm saying? So well, I feel you, bro. Yeah, we're done with all this, bro. I don't care how big you oh, get. You can't forget the dudes that put you on, bro. Right. And Puffy felt invincible. And you can't blame him. Look, he got all the celebrities that is out there. He really, Jay-Z, all these cats. But you shit it on the hand that fed you, my guy. And I heard that dude put a 250 million bounty on him, allegedly, to bring Puffy down. Not kill him. He didn't want to kill him, that was too easy. To bring him down and make him suffer. 
That's how I know that nigga ain't coming home, man. Talk to me, man. Y'all know anything I don't know, talk to me. Apple in the building. I see you. Apple, hold up, Apple. I can't do you like that, Apple. I know you love to eat and you love to watch food. Look, I got the unlimited shrimp tempura. The all got his own little, you know, his meats over there. All like mixing his shit up. He like getting a little bit of everything and shit. You got my man OGJ. Thank you, my brother. Yeah, we just doing it, man. Eating and talking sports, man. And not even just sports. Light shit. You guys want to add on to the Pete Diddy or you want to shut it down? Hey. I know you was down in Kalo on that, but I bet you Justin Bieber wanted to take that down. No, I believe it. Because we look at, we look at like, you know, older girls with younger dudes. Like, we look at that differently. Because like, if it was flipped, like an old dude with a... A dude J Lo's days messing with a sixteen year old, you know what I'm saying? Like way different than a dude here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get it. Right? You know Scott Bell, Chauncey from Happy Days, not a list of names, basically Illuminati that attended P. Diddy's party, bro. You saw my video, right? Wow. I didn't see that video now. Oh, okay. Yeah. He exposed over thirty celebrities, bro. So people need to open their ears and open their eyes up, bro. Cause that's real shit, bro. Yeah. Let me tell y'all something. I'm not hating if they went to the party and they were having sex among each yeah, other. Bro. You heard me? Right. If Will Smith wanna fuck Kardashian, so what? I'm not hating on that. What I am hating is if you're banging out those little kids that was in there. That's what I'm hanging on. And puppy uh, drugging dudes that are not gay, and they waking up and they they they, 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 they became gay overnight. Right, they can't walk. They because can't yeah, wait. they can't walk because they blew up their anal. I'm against that. Because he making dudes that wasn't with that, like you like forced the issue on that. I'm not with that, my guy. Right, like Jaden Smith, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm not Don't with that, my guy. Like. If a dude did it naturally, I saw him to each his own. Just move that shit away from me. Get that shit away from me, my nigga. But if you in there, like I said, they have a consensual sex, so what? And if it's dudes, I definitely don't want to be in there. But if Puffy allows that, long as they old enough, if that's what they want to do, yo, it's legit now to be gay. They gay all along. Gay's legit. I don't hate on gay. Just don't bring it on me. I know a couple of them, I say hello to know somebody you know out of family, keep it moving. Right. But my thing is, if you're turning cats into that, with some baby or you drink shit, that's fine. That's fine. That's dollar It's bro. probably be doing the girls, imagine two or two. There's a guy named Sharper in the NFL and Bill Cosby that was throwing pills in, in, in girls' drinks. And they would knock out. They would take them to the crib and, and bang them out. They, Sharp was doing like 11 years for that. Yeah, up Ruby. And, and yeah. Puffy's on the next level. Puffy had thousands of them shits in baby oil and baby oil bottles, dog. Fuck, you need a thousand baby oil for Cause those parties. He yeah, giving them shits out. Yeah, giving them shits out. He was doing like that shit was legal, my dude. Yo, put your comments in, man. Real talk, man. Hey, Jay. Checking it up. Yeah, let me let this cook a little more raw. I'm gonna put this on the corner right here. Man, I like it cooked a little more, you know what I'm saying? This barbecue screaming, bro. I told you, dog. You thought I was brave, my nigga. I knew you was gonna be like this, because this shit had me like this, you heard? This is straight up comfort food. No joke, bro. Good. No, I'm gonna take it. Rob's over here, right? Yeah, it's me, bro. Boy, who wanna take it to no, 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 no. Like, just having an egg, 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 no, 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 no,
Good, let's move on, let's move on. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Shrimp Jim Paul was just banging my niggas. Are the Kansas City Chiefs going undefeated like this year like the 73 Dolphins or no? What's your take on that, Al? I think they, they have the ability to. But I know it's not. Not on a three feet. I think it becomes harder that you won the last two trips. Mm -hmm. That the closer they get to it, it's going. Every game is going to be a playoff game. It's almost like that now for them, where every game is a playoff game. Meaning, like the team is bringing an A game every game. I'm gonna call it right now. I say Buffalo get them. Sure. I'm gonna say Buffalo get them. I think it's in a couple weeks they play Buffalo, and then the other possible team. On record, I can because anybody can get them any given Sunday. Right. Because you see, the Bucks almost got on Monday night. Right. But and uh, but I think the, uh, the other team that could probably get them, but I don't like that they missing two key receivers. Is the Houston Texans? They also play C.J. Stroud and company, but there's no Nico Collins and there's no Diggs. So it's hard to beat KC. Period. And to beat them without your two studs, even though Tampa almost pulled it off right. without their two top receivers. But I doubt if that happens two times, if that makes sense. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Let's get a remember, too, when you play KC, you got to beat KC, and <laughs> you got to beat the ref, bro. I'm really going to say that. All them freaking holding calls, bro. What's up with that, bro? Yo. What's up with that, Tell my bro? man, Big G. Big G said there's no cheating. He's a Kansas City Chief fan. Remember when I was on my show? Right, right. Let him know what you just said. Big T. Big T, you got the reps with you, Big baby. Big T, no disrespect, but you need to open your eyes, Big T. You got the reps with Look you, Look at baby. all the instant replays of holding the last two Super Bowls, bro. What does that tell you? I'm just keeping it real, bro. No disrespect, bro. But you got to give them credit. They're an amazing team, bro. Yes. Mahomes is the man, bro. They're an amazing team. Kansas City, Mahomes, though, it's like watching art out there, dog. It's like, it's almost like a movie where they always set them up where they got to score to win the game and shit. And they always fucking deliver. It's amazing how that shit happens, yeah. you know? D. Mahomes is amazing, bro. Snack Sessions, part six. Jeff the OG. My man, the R, holding it down like always. They go to Jeff the OG, holding it down. It's my family right here, guys. I moved out of New York, met new families. My family right here. These guys keep it one hundo, man. And I'm not saying it because they in front of me. That's just how they roll, man. He said it earlier. Repeat that shit you said earlier, Jay. If you remember. I will slam dunk that. Remember what you said about real people meet and something like that? Oh, thank you, my brother. Real people? Hey, attract real people, bro. That's real talk, man. We keep it one hundred, man. Yeah. Yeah. you, bro. All right, let's go, let's go, baby, let's go, baby. Put your comments in, man. Snack session four six. You know we got tonight the Al York Sports Show, open sessions and giveaways. Y'all gonna still get that work, but right now you're gonna get this full work right here. And Jay got the next question lined up, and little R's gonna slide in. No pause, pause, but slide in some other question that a lot of y'all people ain't gonna be ready for. Hey, dog. Doing that big ass book. Now you only understand that shit. I ain't understand nothing you wrote on that. Who wins the fight on the 16th of this month? Jake Paul or Iron Mike Tyson? Woo! Is Jake Paul going to pay off Mike Tyson? He hit the canvas? Or is he legitimately going to win or lose, bro? If you would have asked me this four months ago, I would have said, fuck this fake ass fight. I've been watching Paul's fight on YouTube. The guy really wants to be a fighter, man. The guy's really out there trying to really knock these niggas out, like, realistically, and he did. I think he knocked out your man, right? Nate Raw? Right? I mean, no, no, that was a big, oh, yeah. He, he was too big for Nate Raw, but he laid him silly. I love Mike Tyson, 58 years old, though. If anybody could do it, it's Mike Tyson. He respects Mike Tyson. So the only way I could break down this fight is if he goes about this fight and say, fuck, I respect Mike Tyson, I think he gets him. 
But if he's there like, yo, I respect the OG, I don't want to embarrass him, then he ain't going to get him. But I already know what he's going to do. He's going to drink nine Red Bulls like he be doing right before the fight. Ah, do that crazy yelling shit. Right. And I got four winning, dog. I, I, don't, I can't believe I'm saying this, but I guess those bike is over age. That's why I'm saying it. If anything, I'm scared for uh, uh, Mike Tyson's, uh, the fact that he could get really injured in this kind of fight. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying what I'm saying. Get talk to him. Okay, what, what else do we need? Hold on a second. We going to order some more meats? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, more short meats, please. Short meats. Gotcha. Uh, what y'all want? Oh, I don't want no more chicken. I don't want no more chicken. More Unless y'all want it. Chocolate. 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 The shit, that's some of the shit. Yeah, yeah, I so well. I'm huh? Jim Paul yeah, be fighting yeah. old dudes, bro. You know what I mean? He be fighting old dudes. What do you think about this fight yourself? I'll tell you, I like Paul to win. I like Paul to win, too. I think he's paying his fighters to get knocked out. That's my take of it, bro. Am I, I going him? now? Yes. I've seen him, I've seen videos of him grazing foods and he hit the canvas. Come on, bro. Come on. That's not a knockoff, bro. That's not kick me down to take a dive. Give me a cup of milk. Yeah, I'll hit the ground. See him out there, bro? Why do you think he might go now? If you have to choose a round. I'm going to say like the sixth, fifth, sixth round. I'm going to say like the seventh round, bro. Oh, what? Yeah. Make it interesting. That people get their money's worth. Right. You feel me? Oh, you know, I'm the, I'm the boxing guy. What do you think Listen, about bro. that, bro? What's, what's Listen, bro. I'm, a, I'm a boxing fan. I think Mike Tyson gets an opportunity to end, the, end his career on a hot on a. I know. I know, bro. You know what I mean? He lost. He quit but on his already over. Yeah, but like this is a way that you know what I mean, like a remake shit. Well, just for everybody. Some makeup shit. Everybody, who, yep, who was a fan of Mike Tyson back in the day, we get one more glimpse, one more moment with Mike Tyson. So we ain't gonna see another. Another uh, Lennox Lewis, right? Huh? Another Lennox Lewis fight? I hope not. I hope he made it was, it. It was hard to see that fight. Yeah, I don't want to see that way. No, it was hard to see that Mike Lennox Tyson, Lewis. Tyson, I hated that shit. Mike Tyson, KO4. Fourth round. He oh, wow. On Jake Paul, and it's over. Wow. Mm. Jake Paul loses nothing. He doesn't lose anything. He loses to Mike Tyson. Right, right. I'm going with Mike, bro. I got Mike. I always got Mike. Okay, so we got two one Paul. Any any last words y'all wanna add before we move on, guys? Put your comments in, guys. Put your comments in. Salute to Miss Elva. I see you tapping in, appreciate you. Remember, Tyson fought Roy Jones Jr. not too long ago. And it was a draw. And that was a sloppy fight, bro. Right. Go, so, Jake Paul, bro. Jake Paul going in there like trying to know this shit. You know what Jake Paul can scrap, bro. That white boy can get down. That's what I'm saying. He, he yeah. can fight, man. I like Jake Paul. Yeah, no, he might not be skillful, but I love his heart. I love his work ethic. And I love what he's trying to accomplish. He's got a right hand. Where bro. he's trying to get legit. Like he really trying to fight legitimate. Now, is he ready to dominate legitimately? I don't know yet. What's but I know he. I mean, you know, world champions. I mean, like a, that's his goal. He wants to be a he's world champion. He's not gonna be a world champion. But that's what his goal is. I love Jake Paul. Yeah. yeah but he got he, he's he's gonna sell it to people that don't know boxing that he could maybe be world champion. No, so he's saying that. No, no, but I'm not fans, saying that. Casual fans don't know how boxing works. Yeah. No, I'm telling you right now, he ain't. He ain't too, gonna many, be world champion. too many niggas is nice. Yeah, yeah, too many years, my dude. Oh, and he's at cruiserweight. Oh, that's bro, what I'm saying. Exactly. Know, but like, people that don't know boxing, yeah. they, they who will he be fighting? Give him an example of the kind of name right now. If he was, if, if he was legit at cruiserweight, who would he be fighting right now? Give us a couple that? names that you already know he can't hang with. Bro, I can name people at 168 pounds that he can't be. <laughs> He got to cut down to like 168 and 168, and there's killers down there. Yeah, bro. man. You ain't lying. Bro, he'll get worse. Yeah, so like, that's why he doesn't fight boxers, bro. 
I think he could be. I think he's good, but he's not the world level fighter that a casual fan might think, though. That he may have a shot at. Dom. I don't know what even that means. Oh, say, could he be? Could he be? Let me. Can he be like? What's the word I'm looking for? A contender. <clears throat> Could he be a little better than mediocre, being in like a winning record? Look, look. I think you know, he has to be matched properly. Right. You know what I mean? If he fights anybody. I know he's a draw, though. That's what I'm saying. He's a draw. That's what you don't make money. That's what I'm saying. You match him carefully. You just I would just have him fight UFC fighters. And just, I like that. UFC guys, NBA guys, Steph will try to fight I like that. UFC I like, because they're already fighting. Too. Listen, if he fought number 50 in the world at Cruiserweight, he's losing. He, he can fight NBA players, dunk them out, and make a million dollars, dog. Like, NBA players are boxers, bro. Yeah. But I, 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 I would rather you know, he fight the UFC, but they're already somewhat fighting. Yeah, but if he goes into the cage, I'll tell you right now, he's got wrestling experience, no jujitsu experience. To get your black belt, it takes eight to three. No, but I don't think he's going to go there. I think he's going to box them. He's talking about that, though. He's He'll crazy. He'll get his ass work. He's crazy. He'll be submission like a bro, motherfucker, Don't bro. take him to the ground and ground and pound, bro. My man. White boys would be like, be careful, red, huh? be, be careful, time, bro. Yeah, you're bad on the open. Yeah, 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 yeah. My man. White, you got, you know what I mean? What's up? Just, just make sure white be yeah, eyes, you know what I got you, just, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Got tough, you Snack session, part six, guys. Tune in, put your questions in. Ain't no wrong questions. Participate, y'all know what it is, man. I got my, my guys there. These are my guys there, man. We do this not a lot because we just right now, me and OG Jeff reunited, but me and the all, we always went to eat. And the all was doing that. Say, yo, all these topics you be talking about, man, we might as well get the shit on footage, man. And we made that shit for real, dog. Right or wrong, dog. This little nigga got a brain right here, dog. I'm telling you, man. Rob? Yeah, so what you what you, you want to go in or you want to buy the question? Huh? You got something else for me? Um, I got a question for you. I know you're super educated, boy, when it comes to football and all sports in general. Who do you think was the best running back ever to put the cleats on? Wow. Ever. Can I give you a top three? Yeah. Go ahead and do that, okay, he I'm wants to know who's anybody, the best bro. running back ever. So that's a tough question. So let me ask, you know how I like the spelling bee? How they be like, can I get a definition? Uh, you know, can you give me a, a place or thing? You know how they get there? Right. My answer to you is, it's just running the ball or combined. Like right. catching, running, combined. blocking. Combined, right. If this combined, I got to go Walter Payton. Because he's the best blocker running back. And he can catch the ball. And he can run the ball. If it's running, Barry Sanders. The guy I love most. I'm not saying he's the best. But I like Eric Dickinson. I love Eric Dickinson. He wasn't a good blocker, though. Bro. That's the thing, though. He grabbed too high. That's the thing. No, no, but I like I like the... Whether he ran high or not, he was getting away with it. So I'm going to go Walter as far as all three parts of being a running back, blocking, receiving, and running the rock. I'm going Walter number one, Barry number two. Now, a lot of people might be mad at me because, you know, you got the old dude Brown, Jim Brown, and all of those guys that were also OJ, Ju Drew Simpson. Uh, you could probably throw Simpson in there. You could probably throw Eric Dickinson in there. But I guess we take Eric out since you said he couldn't really block. So he's out the equation. So I go juice. How about that? That's my okay. third. Aren't you kind of forgetting about Marcus Allen? Yeah, but I don't got Marcus top three, top five. I love Marcus, but he ain't top there. He ain't top five? Nah, nah, he ain't top five. I love Marcus, but he never been on my top five. I'd rather get Earl Campbell in there before him. Okay, I got you, bro. Yeah. Do you, you think he's in Nicole's top five? Huh? That was a bad joke. Is it uh, OJ's wife was in at Nicole? Oh, he's that stupid. Name? You think she's... <laughs> we, just got it. we just got it Cause she was messing with both of them Yeah, yeah Yo, they just keep bringing it, man They don't shy away, man They really don't shy away, man You know, this is my spot, man Yeah, put your question in, man Come on, talk to me, guys Don't get, don't run out of questions, man Yeah, it's okay We got two more questions, then we out, man
You got one more, Lisa? Then I got, Rob got the last one. Go ahead, Rob. Rob, let me get the next one. Go ahead, go ahead. Yo, yo, here. Yo, yo. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Take a few of them. Come on, you fuck with this? Oh yeah, I'm good though, I'm good though. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good with that. Let me get that mic just so we can make sure we get that and get this question in. Gotcha, bro. Got a big question for you guys, man. How y'all sports, man? Listen, I got like a life question for you, bro. Shrimp Jim Paula, man. This is great, my nigga. Are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening, baby. Uh, Listen, yo, yo, when you first meet someone, because you know in Vegas, man, we, I, for me, I'm not from here, so I be meeting people left and right. You know? Right, right. I, I know same thing for you. Yo, yo, when you first meet somebody, like, what's your biggest red flag? Like, oh, all right. When you first meet them, like, oh, all right, this dude ain't, this dude ain't solid, or this is, you got to keep your antennas up on them. What I think you're saying is, when you hit it off with somebody early, and shit is popping. What would be like a turn off? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. On that introduction to this new individual that you're starting to fuck with, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How I would come back on that is a big red flag, and I, and I need y'all to hear me out on this. When you meet somebody, and let's say y'all hit it off in a club, in a bar, in a sports book. And y'all vibing. It seems like you guys know each other without actually meeting before. But you got a lot of similarities. Like us here. A thing that turns me off with that and how a guy can turn me off is if you know me, let's say a week or two, and you already mentioning a loan of any kind. When a guy does that, he's already showing you his hand early. So you gotta pay mind to these red flags. I told you red flags. Or, or, let's say you introduce him to your woman, right? And he's starting to talk to her when you ain't around. You there, that's perfect. My dudes talk to my woman all the time. I'm good with that. But if they're holding conversations behind my back and then play quiet when I'm there, I have an issue with that. What the fuck you hiding, dog? You feel me? What you hiding? What's the hidden agenda? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's good? So, but back to my man said, a dude with respect, no matter how hungry he is, how bad he is, should already know if you got something good with a new guy you met, the last thing you want to do is bring up money. It's just like, let's say I'm in a room with dudes with money like Dr. Dre and all of them, Ice Cube. I'm not going to go to Dr. Dre and your door. I got a hot podcast. I got a hot show. I'm already asking them for money, dog. I'm going to talk to Dre. Yo, how you doing? Yo, I'm a big fan of yours, though. Always, you know, like those shit. Now, if he come to me, what do you do? Now I can put that out there. But you don't just come, yo, this is what I do, man. I need an investor type shit. No. He already asking you out. Niggas with money ask you out. That's all they deal with every day. So, and, and you a dude with a lot of friends, and you older like us, Jay, me and you older, Rob's the young one, we already know bullshit. So, the first thing that comes in my mind, when me and the dude is vibing, and he throws that money shit, is, oh, he been setting me up to get to this point right here. Gotcha. He alley you me all the way to this point, this motherfucker. I had that happen to me twice, but it's all for it. Dog, you don't just ask a nigga yeah. for money like a loan. Like if, if we do what we did, where you know you seen my account was messed up, yo, kid. You, yeah, you see you got it right yeah, back. Side like yeah, yeah, we, we was trying to get a better. You see yeah. we both got the same better. Right. But yeah, if you just busted. on some loan shit, like on some loan shit, nah, dog, you can't do that out the gate. Man. I don't care what the scenario is, man. You, you terminated your friendship with that dude. So be smart and, and, and know how to utilize it. And don't use people, appreciate people. Yeah, that's why I'm leaving. Right? Like uh, weakness, bro. Love you, you, my nigga. Bro. Love you, my nigga. Yeah, so I, I want you to, hey, Jay, keep on with that. I like what you was putting out. Thank you. So good. Oh, yeah, I know you fuck with that.
Oh. Okay, now I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna put it on this side. Hold me that. Bob, hold me there. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, yeah, what's good, y'all? My man Rob, man. You know, he's a shepherd today, man. Yo, this kid, I don't know what to expect from this kid, man. This kid just be popping out all kind of wild style, man. You gotta love this little nigga, man. Look at him, he's on his chef shit for real, for real. Yeah, Jeff, you got any any closure to what Rob said about the friendship shit? Because I want to educate a little before we move on. Like I said, I have that happen twice. Hold up, hold up. Excuse me. Uh, my man George, the Met fan, said Mets allegedly offer six fifty for eighteen to fifteen years for Soto. Just have to put that out there. Wow, that shit comes about forty a year. They're giving him all the extra years though, so when he's an old man and he ain't doing nothing, he's still getting that contract. Might be 50. That's what I'm saying, it's though. Yeah, no forty. Close to twenty six, fifteen. 40, 51, like, no, no, four, no, no, 46. 46? Yeah. So, do you want to answer that yourself since you have the question? What? What? About what I just answered your question to? About the friendship? No, 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 no. I, I think, yo, money fucks up a lot of things, dog. That's, yeah, so I mean, I think that's a pretty big red flag. Yeah. But I think what it really comes down to, too, for me is, like, can I trust this dude? Sometimes you don't find you find out at the at the very at the at the you know what I mean like you find out at the end right yeah. the hard way yeah, the hard way right. no. let me ask you this then just because you know I'm a single I know you married out so like yo listen for me what would you tell me as a single dude what's the biggest red flag to look out for in a chick a what in, in a chick in a girl right 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 yeah what's Little. the biggest red flag oh what's the red flag yeah. You gotta do your homework. I wanna, I wanna know where you worked at. You know what I mean? I wanna know what you're doing right now. No disrespect to bartenders and waitresses, because I know y'all gotta do to make. I know you gotta do what you gotta do to make a life. I'm not here knocking y'all, but me personally, I cannot and would not if I didn't have my wife make that a wife. Because of the fact of the industry, it, that's why it's bro. not about not trusting. I don't want it all. Oh, you don't trust her. You got billions of niggas on your neck every day, right? Whether we go through good, whether we go through bad, it's too easy for you to do something bad when you're in that industry. Gotcha. Now you could do it anyway. I see a girl working the doctor's office do her shit. I mean, it depends on the individual. That's true. But I don't. I don't. I just don't, I don't want to have to deal with knowing that I'm going to get you and I'm seeing dudes that I know are rapping to you, but I can't say nothing because I'm keeping it professional. That's just me. Yeah, I'm just That'll be me. But that's a red flag. You got to search yeah. those things. Now, as far as personality and all that, if you got to know how to read a girl, though. If you see, like, if you see she's extra hood with it, then that's what she is. Hey brother, I'm sorry, I took those one. Um, yeah, that's what she is. You know, if you want a hood shorty. Wait, are we good or what? What y'all? Um, I'm going to build it and finish this because I'm a chef. Maybe short ribs and that's it, dog. So that'd be it, yeah, yeah that'd be it. Yeah, 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 that'd be it. I already got the cucumbers. Long ribs? Long ribs? Oh, the, the jump tank? Yeah, the jump tank. Yeah, thank you, bro. Yeah, hold up, y'all. We're in a little homeboy camp through whatever. You know what I mean? I yeah. side with you, Al. Uh, I'm kind of generalizing. I got a super killer girlfriend, but part of that, I used to date a couple of industry, industry girls. You know what I mean? I hate to say it. I know, like, they're all the same, bro. Industry is industry. They hop up to the next best thing, bro. Very shallow characters, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yo, and I know, I know we in a different era. Like I said, forgive me, people, those who do work, and y'all loyalty and men. I'm not saying it's all the girls. Don't hold me to that. But he asked me what the red flags for me. There's girls out there holding it down with their mans, not playing them, working in that industry. 
me personally, I'm not good with my wife coming every day telling me, oh, this dude try to holler at me, this dude try to holler at me, this dude try to holler at me. I'm not good with that. If you good with that, if you if you would type that doesn't bother you, then you know what? Then you can fit and get one of those type of girls. I'm not with all that, especially motherfuckers that say what's up to me, Jay. Okay. Motherfuckers that are like, like, yo, hi, how you doing? And then you on the low trying to get in minds. That's an issue for me. But like I said, the girl, the girls themselves too, money hungry. If a girl's money hungry, like you take a girl out on a date, right? And my wife, my wife might trip on me, but she gonna say, oh, that wasn't before me. This was before you, baby, I promise you. You can learn a lot from one day. I gave her the ability to order what she wants, to get it. Cause you know, normally we like, yo, this is what I normally get, like what we do, yo, this is a good price, no, no. Just gave her the ability, do you. Go order some, a salad for $25, just a salad. To start off. Then she ordered the most expensive shit on the menu. Listen, it is what it is. But I'm gonna tell you what I was bad. That's your first date. You going you hit home runs on the first date? A good girl would be like looking for the shit that you know that she think it ain't gonna hurt you or whatever. Exactly. And I ain't talking about being cheap. It's exactly. not about being There's cheap. There's a difference, bro. I'm not saying be cheap. All I'm saying is if she's swinging. Like, I already knew that she wasn't ordering like that for herself, my nigga. Like, when you go out, you ain't even ordering like that. That's why that was an issue. Now, if that's how she eats, and it's confirmation behind that, oh, then I, I live with it, Bob. That's how she eats. Don't bill up my bill because you trying to, like, you know, get right. I, can, I, I never take something serious like that. It's but, of right. course, I would have to be... A lonesome guy. Right now, I'm married. That ain't happening. I'm good. But if I was on my lonesome, that's a big red flag. Shorty's going to your neck on the first date, my nigga. Yeah, put your comments in, man. I don't understand, man. Man, he got it. Yeah, I'm dead on that shit, my nigga. Nigga, I'm nigga, squared over. <laughs> hey, I got doubles, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is the team right here, man. Yo, we just doing it, man. Trying to give y'all this snack session, man. Have y'all with us. I'll be eating the conversations that we hold on a regular basis, man. So we got anything left, guys? Any add-ons? Any last questions? But we about to close it off. That's good to go. Take, take a piece, bro. Oh, 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 that's Jeff the OD. Tell them peace, brother. Peace, boys. And shout out anybody in your peace. family that's watching. Thanks for tuning in, man. See you next week. Okay, all. Y'all already know, baby. Snack Sessions Part 6, Al York Sports. Don't forget, tune in tonight. Open sessions and giveaways, 6 Pacific, 9 Eastern. Covering for Jeff the OG, the all doing this thing. Al York Sports, blood, y'all, man. Y'all keep your heads up, man.